<clears throat> hey guys, Kevin here, doing a walkthrough on this 2015 Coachman Prism. Let's start with the engine compartment. Just a FYI, we're gonna go through this. I'm gonna try to show you any blemishes at all I can find, or issues, or things that need to be repaired, so that you can see exactly what I'm seeing from where you're at. We haven't even officially cleaned this motorhome yet. It's a clean coach though, it came in nice. We purchased it, I can tell you that. We didn't end up with it by accident. It's not a trade-in that we decided to keep. It's a purchase, which is indicative of the stock number starting with the P. I don't know how it came to us, but either one of our salespeople or the customer themselves found us and presented to us as an option to purchase. And we said, yes, we want it. We have a pretty good selection of Mercedes here. Uh, at the moment but this is a little bit unique in that it doesn't have the overhead it has this really sleek uh, look we actually call this a b plus still i call them a sprinter c but let's take a look engine first just i just happened to pop it open so we can take a look in there it looks really clean and i'm guessing this person took care of their stuff since we haven't had a chance to even spray it down yet but um nothing special about this we do uh we have we have also we have already done our chassis safety inspection i can tell because the smug okay sticker is here we've also had our company that comes by mobily and does a professional cleaning of the tanks they've uh, sanitized and cleaned our all the uh tanks the black gray fresh um, so that's been done, I can tell by those two stickers. And when we send it across the streets with third party inspection, they do a full chassis safety inspection, check the brakes, all the fluids, they change the engine oil and filter and the generator oil and filter. This is a propane generator in this one. Okay, so take another look. Just, uh, yeah, they'll check all the fluids. Of course we add DEF, we send you off with a full tank of fuel DEF, we go through a detailed cleaning process, um, but first our service department will go through the rest of the coach and check what we call the box, the motorhome itself, and make sure that everything is mechanically working the way that it should. And it, we're bound to find a couple things, but that's good. They take a pretty deep dive and they make sure that all the connections from the oven to different things that that um, anything, any, there's a literally um, anything of the motor inside the motorhome that's mechanically part of the motorhome gets checked. And if they can find some things to fix, that's good. We want to be able to fix anything that could become a problem be before it does. So I did notice that the one thing, and maybe one of the few things that does need to be done, potentially, depending on the buyer. And I know we, when we bought this, we had this in mind, is that the seats, which is very common, especially in 15s and 16s and 17s for some reason, or maybe it's just that amount of years on the road. But, um, you know, they have some wear to them. There's maybe a little life left in them, but, you know, when you're spending a good amount of money, you expect certain things to be taken care of. So I wouldn't put it past uh, an offer to include or ask for some help reupholstering the seats so the other one isn't so bad at all in fact it looks fine it's just the driver's seat has some wear here a little bit here and over here so and then also on the sofa we'll talk about that when we get inside otherwise things are looking good can't remember the miles but let me see if I open it again there it goes up there for me 35,000 827, which I think is a perfect amount of miles. It shows it was used, it was maintained and cared for. It didn't sit around too long. It doesn't have a super high amount of miles. This also has side cameras, which is cool. Not all the uh, Mercedes do. But this one has a side and the backup camera. I do want to take a look at the tire dates. Our policy is that we replace tires if they're five years or older. And this one being a 15, it would have probably been, they would either have original tires that have a date code of to sometime in 2014 or 15, 
I found the date code and it's uh, the 44th week of 2018. So this person probably put a majority of their miles on it in the first few years. That, those probably went on in 2019, but given the date code is the 44th week of 2018 that the tires were produced. So they probably were put on somewhere in the middle of 19, who knows when, which means they're basically going on three years on the coach. So normally we would just inspect the tires, make sure they are healthy and they do look like they have a very healthy amount of tread. Still, um, I would say they are pretty darn near fresh. They might have only put a few thousand, five thousand miles on the tires since they bought it new, who knows. But um, they certainly do look good. They still get checked nonetheless. All right, let's come around this way, actually. It's a nice little uh, window up on top, which is kind of cool. Under here, we have the generator. That's the uh, propane generator, 3600, standard feature. And I haven't seen any issues with the paint or scratching, things like that. Looks very glossy and, and good. This is uh, where you connect to the water source. There's a place to turn your pump on. This is actually a little night light. It actually says light. And I guess it's so it just provides a little bit of light at night for you to see. It's probably just enough to make out what you need to do. Over here is your outside. Hard to put this sucker in. Outside shower, hot and cold. This is a connection for your TV cable. This is where your 30 amp service is down here, and you got to plug in when you're not plugged into shore power. This is um, this is a little. This is where you just grab onto the gray tank release. There's a, I guess, a little bit of storage in there to put a couple small things or tools. This is your six gallon hot water heater. They check the diodes and stuff or whatever they're called in here. They go through what they're supposed to to make sure that everything's working properly. This is a little bit of storage here. And that goes all the way through, wow. So that goes through, you've got access in the back and on the other side, so that's cool. You've got a nice rear cap, has a nicer look. Rear window, of course the trailer hitch has a, looks like a longer trail hitch, trailer hitch, so it's got a little bit better extension on it. There's the other side of that storage. See the underbelly. You have uh, this cool table you may know about if you've been looking at these. So you have a little workspace out here. There's a table leg you, you, would, you would extend and hit, so it hit the floor evenly and give it more stability. I'm gonna use my finger here and try to get so there's a little bit of storage I guess under here that's some kind of rack hold on one sec well really hard to do with one hand so I'll do that in a bit that's over here we have the back of the refrigerator electric awning LED exterior light. I think that's the furnace. To a 110 volts plug. Tiny little storage compartment there. It's about one foot square, basically. This is gonna be your propane because there's no locks here. And you can see this date, 4-18-22. That's the date it got certified certified by our uh, third party company that did the inspection. Then they filled the propane up and dated it. So about five, four or five days ago, three, four or five days ago. You have the exterior TV, remote. You have 
outside speakers, DVD player, stereo, can plug in for maybe a video game, another plug free over here. Oops. There's another place to plug in more solar if you wanted. That's a that's a universal plug. Nothing else to see over here, but I will open this door. Give you another view of this side. You know, there's a there's a slight slight amount of wear here. The seats feel firm. Uh, everything else looks good. It's just this material is just not meant to last as long as you would hope it would. This is the original Mercedes info for the chassis. But everything looks clean. Down here, you got a little storage up on top. Another spot for a drink. And I think one more over here as well. And then in here, this is the old cigarette or ash compartments, cigarette lighter even, but it can also hold a can of soda or a water bottle. And then this extends out to fit whatever size you need. 12 volt connector below, a little bit of storage. This is literally for holding paper, like a paper clip of sorts. Gonna come on inside now. They've got a little mat that they put here. The batteries are under here. Let's take a look if I can. There's two batteries. These are AGM batteries, so that's good. They, they spent some extra money to have the AGMs because they didn't come with AGMs. Most likely came with the regular 12 volt. Um, it just to, goes to show that they cared about the coach and they wanted to make little improvements on it. And uh, what we do with these, these are also Go Power. This is a good brand. We sell the same ones here, but we check them, make sure they're charging like they should. There's ways to test that. And assuming they do, they leave them. But if there's any sign of them not charging properly or that they can figure out the age and they're just past their prime, then they're gonna get replaced. Standard operation here. This is the main cutoff for power for the coach right here. Various light switches and there's a front cap light. I haven't seen it in action. It's probably hard to see in the daytime. Tank heaters, that's an option that's nice to have if you're in colder climates. Otherwise, normal stuff, water pump, slide rooms. Generator, you prime first, and then once that light blinks or comes on, I just want to see how many generator hours. 141 hours, totally, I'd say on the low side, normal. Nobody wants to have too many, too many miles or too many generator hours. That's considered probably below average. They can leave here brand new with 50 to 80 or maybe 100 just from doing demos so got hard surface countertops here's your stereo system lights up a bit i don't see that it's bluetooth it may not have been in 2015 don't see the bluetooth symbol but it is your dvd player mp3 player music player if you really cared about Bluetooth music, I'm sure there's an upgraded version of this that fits in that spot that could do that. So there's speakers in the ceiling. And there's your TV here. It looks like it flips away from the wall. That is uh, kind of updated. So you've got your USB and little plugs there. So you can have your TV across from these seats when they're turned around. Or here. I've got a really good size sink. I've never seen one of these covers before. That's kind of cool. But yeah, full size sink. Ouch. Got me. And then a two burner stove. We check the connections in here, the sparkers. Got a nice little edge here to keep water out of the corners or uh, liquids. Your main storage compartment. This has a couple 12 volts 
some things if you want to do, um, plug something in there. I guess one of them could be a 12 volt television. Now this is a 12 volt television already, I was saying. They've got two more connectors. I don't know what you'd put up there. That's 12 volts, unless you're just you're needing more charging space for stuff, but who knows? Because there's a 12 volt connector here next to the coax plug-in, which means this TV will work as it is without the generator on. It's already on the standby light. So it works without having an inverter. So you can use the TV off of the house batteries, which is nice. Storage up here. There's no real wear and tear that I'm seeing. This is a convection microwave. I've used the same microwave at my house when we remodeled our kitchen almost three years ago. Look under the sink. No heavy wear and stuff from things being thrown in here. Let's look down here. The drawers don't have a lot of heavy wear from banging stuff around and pots and pans, just stuff I look for. So after researching this model a little bit more, I figured out that this is the original sofa that came in here. Just for some reason when I first saw it, it looked like a lazy boy that somebody added because they wanted something comfortable. But uh, no, this is original. I'm trying to see if it has like a kick out or where that lever is to make it. Maybe these, this comes out for your legs. It looks like it would, but I'm just not sure. Oh, there we go. I see something. So there we go, I found it. So this is a, some sort of recliner situation. And aside from, you know, it generally looks good, but there is some areas there and here. I mean, really it's not super bad, but that's stuff that I know when we bought it, we were open to getting it getting it reupholstered or paying for you to take it somewhere and be reupholstered or something to that effect so you've got your lines up here and you've got this is a really cool thing and this one's electric you don't see those a lot anymore i love those and so you can get some nice airflow which i already feel and then these things create a barrier for the bugs or you can block out the light all the way it feels like they never really used it it needs some spray silicone to get the movement going i think it's still in okay shape it just needs to slide a little bit better because it wasn't ever used like it should have been a lot of people just forget to use their moon roofs but that's nice so you can either block the light out or um, you know, have it open so that the bugs can't get in. The kitchen window's got a little opening too, that's nice. Looks like a tinted window. Let's keep moving here. Got your pantry. That's cool. Don't always have a pantry. Also, I like looking at the bottoms of the drawers to make sure there's no spills that need to be cleaned up. But everything looks good and like they took care of their stuff. There's a nice little simulated glass door. A little bit of storage here and here and overhead. Otherwise, it's the uh, common tiny sink. Plastic toilet, probably standard edition. You get the BYO SC. BYOSC. BYOSC, that's what I was trying to say. Bring your own shower curtain because this one does not have a shower curtain. I mean, albeit that's not a bad thing in my book. I really don't want to use anybody else's shower curtain. I'd rather get a fresh shower curtain, whatever pattern you like. Um, I'd rather not have to clean someone else's and live with that. Anyway, um, the, the ceiling's also a nice soft touch ceiling. So that's better for insulation and everything. Floor also while we're at it. Looks nice, I don't see any tears or issues, floods. I don't see any water damage in the coach, in the cabinets, anything so far. And I think we haven't even looked for that. The fridge looks like about a six cubic foot. A little bit of a, there, oh yeah, this here. There's a, there's a hinge that's broken here that we'll have to replace as long as they can. And it shouldn't be a problem, but that is, uh, 
allows, makes it a little difficult to open and keep it in the right position. So that's something we'd have to order from Dometic. But that's another good point, good time to add that I don't smell any awkward smells in the kitchen, in the fridge, in the motorhome. It's basically odorless. Don't smell pets or smoke or anything like that. We tend to steer clear of stuff that's got a lot of smells that are tough to tough to remove. Another drawer. There's the um, breakers down there. Fuses. All labeled. Closet space. This is a piece of trim that goes like here, but somewhere else. Yeah, I couldn't see where when I was taking the photos, so it could be that they already replaced it with something, and that's extra, or they ordered some from the factory and they, they sent extra, that happens too. That goes into your vents here to keep heat out of whatever vent in room you were trying to keep it out of. There's a divider for this here, which is the curtain. It's a pretty thick curtain. So you can have some level of privacy. There's a um, drop down shade and the solar shade. It looks like on most of these windows or all the windows, all the main windows, probably not the kitchen. The kitchen probably just has one aluminum uh, set of blinds. That's usually because of the kitchen, the heat, etc. So you've got some lights over here, a little side, you know, side table. You can set a drink or a book or a phone on. And then some storage above here. It's not too bad. There's all three. And you've got another television here. This one, I'm trying to see if it's 12 volt also. It's a standard plug-in, I can feel it. So regular plug-in. So that's you gotta run that with being plugged in. Unless you added another 12 volt connection back here and change the TV to a 12 volt. So I'm going to sit here on the bed for a second, take a look around. So generally, there's not a whole lot to report. We've got a hinge in here, in the, in the, in the fridge. Shower curtain, I'd leave that to you to find. The question of whether or not we want to have this done for you which could take us a couple weeks or figure out how to make the cost right so that you take responsibility of getting it done yourself on this part or the front seats if you decide that you need to have that done. Any questions, please let me know. This uh, radio also does have the navigation there and Bluetooth. There's the Bluetooth speaker. That's supposed to be up here. Oops. So, you can go hands free with your phone. All right, so I think that pretty much covers it. 23 minutes in, another look at the coach. And I will upload this to YouTube and await your questions. Talk to you later.